friends, before we start today's episode, I have some news for you. We have added a new member in our cutesy bootsy family called Baby Binox, which is basically a smaller version of your beloved friend, that is, me. So, do not forget to watch the Baby Binox show to make it a hit. The link is in the description. Now, let's get started with your favorite show. <laughs> Oh, slow down little kitty. Eating ice cream so fast could lead to brain freeze. Hey friends, have you ever wondered why you get a brain cramp every time you gulp down those tasty icy cold drinks and ice creams? Well, in today's episode, let us explore the shocking answer behind this painful sensation and find the answer to a chilly question. Why do we get a brain freeze. Zoom in! Hey friends, I'm sure we all must have experienced brain freeze at some point of time in life. It is also known as ice cream headache or sphenophallotin ganglion neuralgia, which means pain in the nerves in your face, the roof of your mouth and around your sinuses. Gosh, don't know about the brain freeze. But that name will surely give a headache to many. <laughs> so, coming back to the most important question. Why do we get it? Does our brain hate to eat ice cream or other cold stuff? Well, I'm sure it does not. Because there is a neurological reason behind this shocking phenomenon. So, let us see what that is. Well, imagine you open the refrigerator and you see a divine scoop of ice cream right in front of you waiting to be eaten by you and only you. But suddenly, you hear your sibling marching down the staircase and you yank the ice cream and quickly eat a spoonful of it faster than the speed of light. When suddenly, everything around your face and head starts to feel squeezed as your brain gets frozen for a moment and you get a brain freeze. But why is that? That's because when you sip an icy drink or consume ice cream super fast, the temperature in the back of your throat drops rapidly that has two essential nerves behind it. The first is the internal carotid artery which feeds blood to the brain. And the other is the anterior cerebral artery, which is where the brain tissue starts. And one thing your brain doesn't appreciate much is a sudden change in the temperature. And when the cold hits, it causes expansion and contraction of these arteries, causing a sudden change in the blood flow. And that's the sensation that the brain interprets as a type of pain we call brain freeze. So, now you know the reason behind that headache that comes and goes, that comes and goes. <laughs> Oops, sorry. But the question remains, how do we avoid getting these headaches and what we should do when it occurs? Well, there are two ways to deal with it. First is the easy way and the other is the most difficult thing to apply. The easier method is you can push your tongue up to the roof of your mouth because it can help to normalize the temperature in your mouth. And the difficult thing is to stop eating ice cream and other cold stuff at all. Which I think isn't really necessary because brain freeze isn't deadly and it goes away as quickly as it comes. So go ahead and enjoy that ice cream. Trivia time! Did you know brain freeze is one of the most common types of headaches experienced? Yes, it affects between 5.9% and 74% of adults and around 79% of children. Also, some research shows that people who experience brain freeze also tend to experience migraines. It's question time! 
what percentage of children are affected by brain freeze? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids Cutesy Beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!